most popular insulated cables today are PVC cables. For a reason, they are cheaper and inexpensive to make. But silicone cables provide higher insulation at a slightly greater cost. PVC wire burns when it's exposed to high temperatures, and it smokes. Not only that, but it ruins your soldering iron. Even the thicker gauge PVC wires smoke and burn. Here we have PVC in red burning and smoking, and the silicone in green, which doesn't burn or smoke at all. The rubber insulation doesn't melt when exposed to high temperatures. Silicon wire can operate at much higher temperatures. Their thermal resistance is actually quite impressive. Though flame resistance is really cool, and silicon cables are the number one cables when you want to maintain circuit integrity in the event of a fire, that's not really relevant to guitar making. And I really like the idea that they are chemically insulated. In the event that these wires are used in an environment with a lot of unpredictable chemicals. Though again, that's not really relevant to guitar making. What I do like about them, which is my favorite feature, is the high flexibility. And the compression resistance. Silicone wires are capable of withstanding high flexing for a range of applications and they retain their original shape, even with the prolonged exposure to pressure. PVC wire, on the other hand, doesn't quite bounce back to life after you've compressed it and flexed it. I'm happy that I've made the permanent shift over to silicone, and I won't be using PVC wire anymore. But by far my favorite feature of silicone is I don't have to use wire strippers. I can just use my thumbnail, and I don't even really have a thumbnail. They're very easy to strip with just your fingers, and there are no extra tools necessary. I love that they're flexible and I can stuff them inside a control cavity and not have to worry about them breaking or bending out of shape. Thanks for watching and take it easy.